Hello everyone, this is Azad Hussain again. Hope you have completed all the activities in module 2 and ready to start module 3. Here we have our lesson map for module 3. Please take a look at the lesson map to know about the learning outcomes from this module. As you know, the lesson map will help you to understand about the activities that you will need to perform to achieve the mentioned outcomes. It will also give you a clear picture of how your performance will be assessed. So as you can see, module 3 will cover the remaining parts of chapter 7 of our textbook. That is, we will cover the materials in section 7.4 to 7.8. Please note that we will skip section 7.6 and section 7.9. After the successful completion of this module, you should be able to calculate the rank of a matrix assess linear independence of vectors using rank, relate the rank of a matrix with the rank of the corresponding augmented matrix, and the uniqueness and existence of the solution to a system of equations. You should also be able to calculate the determinant of any 2x2 two two and any 3x3 three three matrix calculate the determinant of a large matrix using cofactors and minor of a matrix. Apply Kramer's rule to find the solution of two equations or three equations. Understand the properties of a matrix inverse and calculate the inverse of a matrix using Gauss-Jordan elimination method. Now, as you can see here, there are five components of learning activities. Number one, reading sections 7.4, 7.5, 7.7, and 7.8 from your textbook. Number two, watching the provided videos for both lecture slides and example problems. Number three, understanding the example problems. Number four, solving the recommended homework problems. And number five, attending the on-campus in-person help session. Remember, you have to participate actively in all these five activities to achieve the learning outcomes from this module and perform well in the quizzes and exams as well. Here you can see the list of the assessments that we will have for this module. I'm sure you all already know about this from the previous modules and the course syllabus. However, please note that you will definitely have questions and problems from this module in exam 1 and also in the final exam. Good luck. Bye for now.